we use the horizon? It's gotta be something around like 10 to 20 miles, right? No. Well then it's gotta be something like 1 or 2, right? Maybe. Getting the horizon has gotta be impossible. There's no like way you could get it. That's also wrong. Ignoring atmospheric refraction, it's actually pretty easy to find out how far the horizon is. Using this formula for measurements in the US, and this formula for measurements outside of the US, it's pretty easy to calculate how far away the horizon actually is. But that's ignoring atmospheric refraction. When you see the horizon, you may be able to use the formulas and you'll get a pretty accurate answer. But it's going to be just a little bit off. When you have a surface that's colder than the air above it, light traveling actually can go downward and curve across the Earth makes you see a longer horizon. So calculating the horizon is basically impossible, but you can still use the formula to get within an error rate of about 14%. The opposite happens in deserts. When you see a mirage, you actually see where the surface is hotter than the air above it, causing light to be reflected upwards, so it looks like there's a puddle when it's actually just a reflection of the sky. If you're on a beach and you're about 2 meters tall, about 6 foot 6, your horizon is actually about 5.1 kilometers away, about 3 miles. Anything less than that would be less than 3 miles. If you're about 5 foot 7, it's about 2 miles. Like the end of a rainbow, the horizon is impossible to reach, but it's not impossible to calculate. It's not even that hard to calculate. You just have to know exactly how tall you are. Thanks for watching, subscribe here, support me here, and here are some more videos for you to watch.